Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with Monday's Ship With Me, What Sold Over the Weekend video. That is absolutely right. We've got our 21 things, right? I was 21. about to say 22. 21. 21 things picked and ready to go. Hi, if you're new here, welcome. Hi. We're full-time resellers from Dallas, Texas. We bring you daily content. And usually we're live listening at night. I don't know about tonight. Tonight might be an exception. We'll see. It's I'm going to see New Kids on the Block. Oh, man. Super I stoked. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, we sold a ton of clothes. We did. And that's not... I mean, normally we sell a lot of clothes, too, but the ratio was very skewed this weekend. Yeah, there's usually a good number of plush and other random stuff mixed in. But So clothes are selling. Get yeah. them. Get list them. them. Yeah, list it. So we're going to go through everything, show you what it sold for, and you know, what we paid for it and all that good stuff. Yeesh. What? I paid up for this. I thought it was better. Uh oh. This is an Under Armour UAS size medium hybrid zip shirt jacket. Tim Coppins, dark gray rare. <laughs> That's what I titled it. Yep. Yeah, you Ah. Oh, <laughs> oh it's okay. no. They paid nine. Okay. They paid nine dollars shipping. It's just over a pound. And yeah. I mean just. Like half an ounce over here. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so we're going to put this in a flat rate envelope. Flat rate envelope. And that costs like $7.91 or somewhere around there, and that's fine. Yeah, and here, this is the this is the tag on it. So I knew this was slightly different than a regular Under Armour. This is like an Under Armour sportswear, which was the special. Slight, I think there was a special collaboration they did. Okay. So that's what the tag looks like. You gotta at least show something, right? Yeah. Come on. So you did pay up for that. I did pay that. up. E. Yeah. It sold for $45 plus $9 shipping, and we went back and forth with the buyer a lot. Uh-huh. Trying to get some more money for this, and he did come up a little bit, but not much. Okay. All right, get it in here. Next. We have Dolan by Anthropology, size small, Northwestern olive jugger pants, paper bag waist. Man, we've had these for a long, they long, They were long time. Okay, a lot of you know we're at inventory 5390 right now, and these are inventory 405. Whoa. So they were like 5,000 items ago. <laughs> we've had them a long time. This brand is sold at Anthropology, not exclusively at Anthropology. But I don't know that I would pick these up again. No way. I mean, even for 99 cents, we've had them for four years, I think. I think you're right. Yeah. So oh, we need it. Yep. We're going to make our ticket. We used to write our tickets like this. If you've never seen how we started reselling four years ago. Okay. Right here. Dolan. 100% rayon. I mean, Dan hand wrote all of this stuff. I can't even. <laughs> well, what do we pay for those? 99 cents. Bad boys. 99 cents. Mm -hmm. All right. Come on. You're very wrinkled because they have been in storage for one million years. It's not printing. Okay, well, do you no, want we'll to do it for mine? I'm going to yeah, sweater we'll shave this. Okay. have some filling. Got it. I would be zero percent surprised if we get a return on these. We might reach out ahead of time. Uh, we were not good at sourcing. <laughs> these have what looks like to be like claw marks. That's what that looks like to me. Oh. Because cool. we have a cat with claws. So I'm getting a little more uh, used to looking at that kind of stuff. <laughs> 
there are a lot of snags on these, uh, a lot. So, and there's some discoloration. Well, I mean. Yeah, there's a is... lot going on because we really didn't know what we were doing. So if you're just starting out reselling and you're having issues like this, you're not alone. We all went through that. So I think what we'll do is we'll send these pants. She paid for them, but in all honesty, I think we should at least refund her a little bit, if not all. Okay. I agree. It's our bad, right? I mean... Sure, totally. And it's better to have good customer service ahead of time. I don't want her to get the pants and then regret them. Uh, they sold for $15. It's like not even a big deal. Right. So we'll ship these to her because of customer service, but then we'll reach out and say, hey, we noticed a little bit of pilling. Sorry. Okay. It's just the right thing to do. I mean, we could cancel the order, but if we did that, in case you're new to reselling, eBay would not like that. We would get a ding on our account, even though we are canceling it because they're not in the greatest condition. We would still get a ding on our account. So this way we don't get a ding on our account, and either way we have to refund her, so. <laughs> you know? Yeah. All right, what's next? Get Betsy Jones. This way is 14 ounces rounded. Love selling vintage Betsy Johnson. Love it. This is the big tag. This isn't vintage vintage, but it's a vintage style for sure. It's this floral uh, dress. Pretty, really, really cool print and it looked good on the mannequin. Uh, it sold for $44 plus $4.99 shipping. That's a good one. Yes, it is. It took a while to sell, actually. It's number 3551. Mm -hmm. So that's probably took six months at least. All ounces. What do you know? Eileen Fisher pants. I'm so shocked we sell these. <laughs> these uh, are Eileen Fisher size large, black straight, stretch crepe, split ankle, triangle cuff pants and we had a really really great um <laughs> help assist. with these assist yeah, we when we were trying to list these they sold for 41 dollars and 4.99 uh maybe 8.99 shipping let's move these 14 ounces Sweet. so 4.99 shipping okay the next thing is a ruby road blue and pink floral pullover blouse size petite large brand new with tags we don't normally sell this brand, but my mama gave us this. And Petite Stuff does well, and it's new with tags. Happy birthday, mama. It's her birthday. Yes, happy birthday. So um, normally when people give us stuff new with tags, we will list it, even if it's not in our wheelhouse. Here's what the tag looks like. Okay, and we sold this for $11 plus $4.99 shipping. All profit. Yes. yes. Love that. Petite Stuff uh, sells really well for us. Petite and plus, obviously. Any kind of the specialty sizes, we love to sell those. All right. Mm -hmm. I've been relisting every single day. I'm going to do it for today. Uh, and I just relisted this and it sold the same day. This is the Hart Schaffner Mark size medium men's long sleeve polo navy sport shirt golf. <laughs> uh, it sold for $14, but we've had this, I mean, forever. See, it's stored in the Tyvek. That means we've had it a long time. Yep. And I just relisted it, so I'm hopeful that that's why it sold. I mean, it, it would be very coincidental if it just randomly sold. And what I do is, if, if you're wondering, we just put a video out last week about it, and I just take everything that's about to end on eBay, and I relist it before it has a chance to end. Yep. And if you'd like to know how we do that, check, check that out. video out. That's right. It is weird, you know. It is strange how that does seem to really work. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, I feel like every day you're talking about something that you just relisted that way that sold. I think it works. I I can't explain it, but I just do it. it keeps our store active too, so that's good. I just wonder if people have to save searches on or whatever, you know. Because yeah. sometimes we get. Actually, every day I get a text from eBay. Here's some things you might like based on your search. You know what I mean? So maybe those things are popping up 
some people's. These are American Apparel Super Skinny Easy Jeans High Waist Indigo Wash, size large. Uh, these I love picking up these American Apparel Skinny Jeans. They have a cult following. Um, they sold for $24 plus $8.99 shipping, I want to say. Okay, so these are going to go first class. I'm not sure what the buyer paid. They either paid $4.99 or $8.99. Either way, it'll be covered. There we go. Okay, the next thing is Lane Bryant, the alley. We love selling these pants. They don't sell for a ton, but they do flip for us. $38.19. Lane Bryant, the alley, plus size skinny crop pants, white, women's size 18. So these are... Whew, we must have paid a dollar because I do not buy white things <laughs> at the thrift store. Anyway, the alley pant is good. Can people those on the scale for me, please? People know what size they wear in that cut. Oh, yeah. it's over. Okay. Uh, this is going in a flat rate envelope. It would probably be just as cheap to put it in a box. Going to Texas. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Great. Next is Sink a Set. Uh, I Kiss the Lead Singer shirt. New tags. Love this brand. If you never heard of it, oh my goodness. It's a good one. I'll turn it right side up for you. Sink a Set. So good. This is their lower, you know, kind of more casual line. They, their dresses do really, really well. Uh, this shirt sold for $42 plus $4.99 shipping. I think this is another one we went back and forth. We did. An offer. There was a lot of offers. Okay, the next <clears throat> thing is a Lauren Ralph Lauren women's summer scarf. And... I have no idea why my husband bought this. I don't either. He was like having a day. He bought all these scarves, but it did sell. So $15 uh, plus shipping, I think. So, hey. Not bad. He had a feeling that day. I did. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Static on these guys. The next thing that sold sold overnight. We just listed it on Friday on our live. We were saying it was a pinger, meaning like something that's not good, but it sold overnight, so it was good. Uh, Hawaiian Tropic men's size medium button down Aloha shirt camp sun cloud sky novelty. Yes, all of those keywords. Uh, and it's going to Thailand to Bangkok. I don't want to tell you where it's going because it is really strange. It is. Did you see this? Yeah. I mean, who am I to judge? Maybe <laughs> We're not going to judge. Maybe I think it's going to go into some sort of entertainment space. I don't wow. Know. We'll see. We will see. Twenty-five forty-six. It sold for plus whatever international shipping. This person sold through eBay International, so we'll. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. We're trying that out for some stuff here. All right. Free people, size, extra small, Arctic Fox sweater, exposed zipper, back, mock neck, women's. This sold for $49.26. Nice. For full price. And, um, I Sweet. mean, we had a sale running. And it didn't sell over the winter. It was listed all winter. Sold now. So, I'll take it. We do list free people uh, sweaters around fifty dollars. I've heard people, I've seen people say list them lower. I don't do that. It's a big chunky piece. You know, it was cute. We had a good um, good photos of it. So I'm not surprised by that. So this is gonna go out first class. Weighs thirteen ounces. Oh, we skipped one. Oh no. Oh, what did I do? I guess I just put it from when you did it. I got it. This, <laughs> okay, I would say look out for silverware at the, at the thrift. This came in a box set of silverware that we bought. 
and um, it didn't go with the set. We did sell the set for like 80 bucks. This is um, Hampton Silversmith Stainless Lace Frosted 9 inch serving fork and spoon set of two. Okay. It will fit in there. Uh, it's sold for 20 bucks plus shipping. Alrighty. I'm gonna wrap them up in this here tissue paper. Okay. It'll be very nice. Maybe we need some air pockets. Uh huh. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's good. It took a while for these to sell, so don't go thinking it's going to be the quickest sale in the world. I think, you know, somebody probably has a set and they're missing with any kind of silverware, right? We do well with it. We can find it for cheap. Look at that presentation. That's nice. Thank you. This next thing sold overnight as well. It did sell pretty quick. That was pretty sweet. Um, All Saints size medium black Union Stars and Stripes Visco short sleeve shirt. We listed this on Friday. If you don't know the brand All Saints, definitely, definitely keep an eye out for it. It is very good seller, especially the men's stuff, in my experience. Uh, it sold for $25 plus $4.99 shipping. And we took a lower offer on this than we maybe would have wanted, but the comps just weren't supporting the high dollar. Yeah. There was a lot listed that were high dollar and they weren't selling. So I took the lower offer because it was a quick conversion. Okay, this I also just relisted maybe a week ago. <laughs> this is Paw Patrol Thai Beanie Booze 2019 Tracker Chihuahua Dog. Six inches. He sold for $19.51 plus $4.99 shipping. Put them in a little poly. Sure. Okay, let's go on here. It's pretty good today. It's just like kind of poly bag and go day. I better put a sticker on here. So it's, sticky. <laughs> it's sticky. Another one stuck. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it's ready. Okay. Another overnight sale is this Patagonia size extra large organic cotton short sleeve Hawaiian dress, I mean design button up shirt. It sold overnight, but it was flawed. Yep. It has two holes in it, so we took a $12 offer. Y'all know Patagonia, hopefully. So I guess the the moral here, hot tip. Hot tip. Even very loud. Yeah, well, you know, even people if it's, gotta be paying attention. Even if it's flawed, list it. You already got it. I mean, if it's like a brand like Patagonia or All Saints that you know is gonna sell, just list it. Oh, I'm skipping ahead. Don't do, Don't do that. Vintage Eden plush velour bunny rabbit pastel animal overalls. These. <laughs> I swear to goodness, we have had this for two Easter's. It has not sold. It finally sold for full price of $67.96. Yes! You do not need to give away your plush. Don't do it, You man. don't need to. The right buyer will come along. I've had so many lowball offers for this, like $19, $12, probably $1. We had a $1 offer. Not on this, but something else this weekend. It was great. I'm going to put him in a... A bag? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I think these Eden Plush can do really well. There's ones that are solid color overalls that do better. But I still knew the value of this. I looked it up on Worth Point. I know what they were selling for. Don't give away your plush. Six 
$67.96. Love it. I also did relist this, so there's that. Come on. Come on. Okay. So, I'm optimistic. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello. All right. All right. Another pair of Eileen Fisher pants. Yes. All the Eileen Fisher pants all the time. These are going international. They sold via the Global Shipping Program. I think these are over a pound. I think they are too. Yep. There. And they're going, they sold for $45. They're a Ponty knit, so they're heavier in weight. And so we charge $8.99 shipping for these. And we're going to put them in a flat rate envelope and send them off to Kentucky. The next is G4 Men's 2X Cotton Wisteria Purple Golf Shirt uh, with the Aria Casino logo on it. This is a super hot golf brand at the hot. moment. Hot! Let me come over here and show you what it looks like. Yes. G slash 4. Very, very good brand. Very high sell through rate. Uh, like I said, we sold this very quickly, and even with the Aria logo, it sold for $38 plus $4.99 shipping. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was an offer, but hey. We'll take, yeah. Yeah. Right. Sold in less than a week, for sure. Okay, and another quick seller. We listed this the same night is this brand called Rod and Gun. It's got like a dog, you know, hunting dog on the label. Yes. And it says Gun Polo. This sold very quickly as well. So the more that you hear us talking about things selling quickly, the better resellers you can assume we ha are becoming. <laughs> True. That means that we're picking up stuff that people want to buy. And if your stuff isn't selling quickly, I would reflect on that because it took us a long time to understand that, to actually like fully understand it and practice it. Yeah. So we spend a lot I'm still of- still not 100% there. No, no, no. I said, <laughs> I said we're getting better, right? Because yeah. we can, I think maybe five or six of these were basically overnight and then maybe up to 10 were within the first week. Yeah. And that just means that we, I need to get this one. Move it down. And this one. This one? Yes. What did we miss? Sink a set. Missed it. Oh, no. I know. All right. Well, while she's looking for that, this is just a Russell Athletic uh, University of Texas. Wait, what's this? Or an orange t shirt that's sold on Posh. What is this? I don't know why I didn't wait this. weird. <laughs> You're just talking about it, I guess. I'm just talking. Okay, what was that that went on Pasha? It was a, just a Russell Athletic University of Texas. That we've had for T-shirt. Oh my gosh, how long have we had it? Uh, I don't even want to know. It doesn't have a ticket. Yeah, it does. It's probably on my desk. 3070 is the number. Oh, okay, we haven't had it long. We just had a, I think we had it, but we didn't list it. Yeah, we got it, more, I think we got it for free. It says free. Yeah. saying well Dan's gonna we have one address thing that we need to kind of figure out here actually there are two people that message about address oh, that's right. there are two so I think we're gonna stop the video and figure out the address thing and then we'll come back and show you the labels I know you guys love that yes but let me just stop while we figure this out two people message us that their address was different than they had it in eBay and that sometimes can be a pain yeah I may have to 
send some messages and ask people to fix some stuff on their eBay settings. Be back. So we had to cancel one order, so which sorry, was... Sorry, one label couldn't be generated. Oh, gosh. The international one, of course. Something is wrong. Please try again later. Okay. We're going to print the ones that we know what's happening. Yep. Uh, we had to cancel the G4 shirt because if their address isn't correct in eBay and we fix the address, we are not covered by eBay. So we have to cancel it. The reason being address, that's what we put. We don't get a ding for that. And the person will have to repurchase it. So we put it to the side. That's all okay. you can do. Ready? Not our fault. Yep. This is the Under Armour jacket. Is it in a flat rate? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, Dolan pants. And then we're gonna remember to reach out to this person. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you knew it was gonna happen. You should have just replaced them. We ran out of labels. It's fine. We have extras. I don't know where they are. They're up here somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. How are you gonna reach them? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> the dasher or bet key we bet use bet key yeah. brand labels for our dime though it's spelled weird here you go this is the brand we use I, <laughs> I believe it's linked below uh probably not oh great well you can find these on amazon they work great in our dymo 4xl yes they're our favorite we've used all the generic ones and the bet key is the best that's a hot tip. Hot tip. Okay. We are moving on. <laughs> what would you order? Betsy Johnson dress. I do Fisher crepe triangle pants. $52.96. We gotta be careful with these because they're not in a flat rate. I know. There we, go. So we have two Eileen Fishers, and we don't want to mix them up. Get them mixed up. Nope. It would be very, very bad. All right, the Ruby Road top. Ruby Road top. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, that's. It's cool. in the little one, folded over. I think the teal one. Yeah. Uh, the HSM polo. I believe this is it. Ticket came off. <laughs> awesome. Fingers crossed. <laughs> uh, the American Apparel. American Apparel. Jeggings. We didn't mm -hmm. show you the logo. I feel bad about that. I'm sorry. Their jiggings like super high waisted. They look like gem in the. What do you call them? Holograms. Holograms pants. Okay. Uh, who's up next? Lane Bryant Alley pants. Lane Bryant Alley pants. Lane Bryant Alley pants. A L L I E. Hope this gets our sales numbers back up. Seriously. Uh, sink a set shirt. Sink a set. <laughs> I like how you titled that. He said five to seven shirt. <laughs> ah! ah! That's funny. Uh, the scarf. That's why these labels are all roly poly. Three there. people, Arctic sweater. They're at the right end. Behind you there. Sir. Oh, I'm sorry.
the silverware. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> That's gonna be me. You getting ready? I'm getting so ready. I'll sing the shirt. The right stuff. Paw Patrol. I relisted all of our Paw Patrols and they all sold. Isn't that crazy? Patagonia shirt. Oh, hey, even the rabbit. I already got your ponky pants. Oh. Rod and gun polo. And this is the one that we need to fix, right? Yeah. I just don't know. It might be because of the extra information I put in. Maybe. So. We'll just okay. have to see. I printed out my scan form and I'm going to run all this stuff to the post office. So the two things that we had address problems with, we still have address problems with. Yep. But we're going to put everything else in the computer and let you know what we made today. Yes. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Okay. It's good. Um, we sold 19 items because two of them had to be canceled or waiting for them to be repurchased. Mm -hmm. So they will reflect on tomorrow's numbers. Whew. Hopefully. Yep. $662 in sales for those 19 items. 359 of that was profit. Okay. So it's a little bit rough. It's a little bit rough. It uh, feels like, I mean, it feels like this whole month has been a little bit rough. It, yeah, it's not <laughs> great. So if we look at the month to date, uh, we're sitting at $3,800 profit, which our goal is 6,000. Yeah. And so if we're going to make it to 6,000, we need to make $2,200 in seven days challenge <laughs> there's the challenge yeah you know we're down eight percent from april at this point mm -hmm. so the end of the month did come in pretty strong in april as far as number of items sold but i feel like our sale prices are, are way down this month compared to april we were selling a lot more high-end things oh yeah uh, yeah. The best thing I think we can do to make this goal is to continue relisting and to list higher value things these last seven days. Like really dig in. And I think we still have some more like Eileen Fisher stuff we could list. Mm -hmm. The things that's going to turn a high profit. And the reason that we look at our monthly is to keep going, right? Like right, if right. we didn't pay attention to it and we didn't push, I know it's just seven days and I know you're like, well, you could make more money the next week. No, no, no. If we don't stay on track for this month, then it puts us behind for next month. And then that puts us behind for the year. So we really need to make this money. We're going to do everything we can. Stay tuned for the next seven days. Seven after today, because there's 31 days in May, right? Right, right, right. And see if we can make this happen. All right, let's stay tuned. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. Uh, join me tonight, live listing solo, because... This one's going to a concert. You're going to have so much fun. I know. I'm so stoked. All right. 7.30 p.m. tonight, Central Time, over on the other channel, which is, as always, linked down below. We'll see you there. Bye.